Can you whisper? Does it hear it? Yeah. I hear about that. <laughs>a oh. show? Are you not supposed to play a show? Good so point. if you yeah. walk up to them, make sure you do the... Yeah. yeah. They love I it. How'd you guys get started or get into music? I was always uh, working on the computer, making sounds and stuff. I thought it was fascinating that you could make music, which people could dance to, on a simple laptop. And then uh, I met this guy... Uh, hey, I just met you. Uh, later on, he started spinning, and I think that's where his story uh, starts. Well, I was always a, more like a clubber. I went to all these house parties and stuff, and I was intrigued by one thing that was the DJ. And for me, that was like, seemed like something really, like really cool to do, to control the vibe of the night. And then I saved up some money, bought my first DJ set, and at that point, I knew like, okay, what to do to like, take this to another level? You need your own music. But mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about producing, but I knew this yeah. guy and I, I saw him sitting behind his computer like hours and hours like creating these weird sounds. Yeah. Yeah. And I kind of sat down with him like, listen, this is the music that I play right now. Maybe we can make something like that together. Yeah. And that's where Bass Jackers were yeah. born. Yeah, we had our first track and we wanted to send it out to some like big DJs. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you have to have an artist name. So we literally like sat down in the lab library where uh, in college mm -hmm. and we just did a brainstorm session like on a messenger and we like shooting names back and forth. We, we, we wanted bass and jacking and at some point I think I typed bass checkers. Does okay. it always have to have the Bleep. initials BJ yeah. or? No, 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 no. That, was just a, that, that was just like a really okay. nice coincidence. Do you guys have like a meeting story about like he dropped his notebook and you picked it up? <laughs> yeah. In the same school and like you know how People just in the breaks, just they hang together and yeah. you know everybody. Mm -hmm. And I kind of yeah. like this guy. And, and, and yeah. I've been friends. Say so you're a little bit opposite because I know you have like different styles and different, uh, you know, do you well, have. Well, yeah, we have, do really have opposite uh, things. But also, um, I think we're really similar uh, in how we think about uh, a lot of stuff. Mm. For one day, you guys should switch clothes. He oh probably uh, thinks that's a very bad idea. He's not a huge fan of yeah. comfortable clothing. <laughs> He's just saying, as long as I don't have to dye my hair, pink right exactly <laughs> but there's a people think this is really comfortable as well but i prefer sweatpants yeah. Yeah. like how does it work like bouncing ideas because i know yeah. you like do the dj and you do producing mm -hmm. mostly but like how's yeah because you're yeah you're this is the only duo you're interviewing but yeah. this duo is actually uh i think it's a special case he's yeah. not touring and mm -hmm. i'm not in the studio most of the times yeah. and but he sometimes needs the dj ears the the DJ perspective behind the music. So I test, road test the stuff that he oh, that's produces so cool. and I come back in the studio with feedback yeah. and try to give like, okay, this might work like what works better. And he is more considered about like how it yeah. sounds musically. With most people like with Ralph, like most people that are in your position would just end up being a ghost producer. No, but I think also what comes first is that we together, we talk a lot about uh, music and what we like, uh, which music we like and which direction it uh, needs to, the vision is the same. Mm -hmm. And within that vision, we both have our uh, specific uh, tasks. And I think uh, in finding that uh, common ground that uh, we both have to compromise uh, a bit of how we think about it, but then it becomes something uh, so much better and unique as well. And I think that's why uh, all of our stuff is being played out so much as well. Definitely what we've been known for is like effective yeah. club 
festival tracks. What would you say is your number one tip for anybody thinking about creating a duo? Don't do it! <laughs> <laughs> I think the foundation we had being already like really good friends yeah. really helps because we have a really solid foundation in our friendship. We always find, found a way to figure that out. So I think yeah. the the foundation is really important. Uh, you both have to, have to be on the same page about stuff. Clear about it. Uh, say what you uh, think. Uh, yeah, well, where you want to go. Like what he says. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you gotta go in as equals and uh, have the same uh, uh, thoughts about where to go. But also, it has a lot of advantages. Like when it works, then yeah. you know, like we divide the tasks. We have two so much two pairs of ears that listen to the music. You have more input. You have more like more capacity to do stuff. But you also challenge each, each other, which just brings you to another high. All right, so we got some questions here from our producer's team. And we have one from Luxit. He's a huge fan of you guys. And he wants to know, what are some of your favorite plugins when you're producing? Um, I love, uh, for a synth, uh, I use a lot of Nexus. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not a big tweaker. I just love to work fast. And I think uh, Nexus, uh, because it's sample based, uh, it works really fast. Yes. I'm really sure a lot of people don't know my sounds come from Nexus mm -hmm. when you hear it because yeah. it's not the the presets as such that you use. You but mess with it a little bit. Oh, I mess yeah. with it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cueing is the key to getting a good sound. And the smile. Yes. Yeah, and which smile saves awesome. up a lot of work. Our next question is from Harlem and Minim, and he wants to know if he wanted to collab with you guys or someone of your caliber, what would he have to bring to the table? What does he need to do? Come up with a really strong ID and make sure it sounds uh, yeah, like 95% already. Like our last release is ready on spinning. We did it with an unknown guy called Len. Uh, he found a track on YouTube, he really liked it. It, it was definitely a Bass Jackers mm -hmm. signature sounding track. Also definitely wasn't there yet. So we reached out to the kid. That's like, we like totally your probably idea. freaked out. Right. Probably yeah. freaked out. We like your idea, send it over and, and Ralph will do his magic. And yeah. then he finished it and crushed it. Yeah. When um, when you produce music, do you play on the keyboard or do you like draw on the notes? Draw on the notes. Draw on the notes. Yeah. And do yeah, you just yeah. hear it in your head and then you start drawing it in? Well, yeah, you now know, uh, yeah, you just know what uh, yeah. goes. And, uh, Absolutely. Yeah, don't put me behind a piano. <laughs> um, you only know the piano like this. Yeah. <laughs> Bass Jackers, Marlon and Ralph, thank you so much for being in this interview with us. Thank you. I thought that yeah. we got to talk a lot about uh -huh. how it's like to work as a duo, and I think that after hearing how this works, it's like, Absolutely perfect. Still want it? You still yeah. want to be a duo? Yeah, I just got to teach her how to make tracks. So, <laughs> And don't forget to subscribe to their YouTube channel and the new release coming out. The new release is a collaboration with Crossnaders. It's going to drop January 19th on Smash the House. Check it out. So if you guys want to get this stuff, this awesome Bass Jackers merch, you already know what to do. You go to teamnbl.com slash tour. You're going to enter for our big tour giveaway. And if you're already entered, you can come back for daily bonus mm -hmm. entries. And if you like this video, if you like Marlon and Ralph, if you like the Bass Jackers, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And one of you guys that gives it a thumbs up gets to dye his hair pink. <laughs> Ready to go. All right, guys, and you know it's all about teamwork. We got new videos every Wednesday and Friday. So if you're not a member of the team yet, be like the Bass Jackers and hit that subscribe button. Bye. Bye.